All right, so I'm not sure exactly where you all wanted me to sit, but let's set it back here. Yeah, that's a good place to sit. Okay, so in the meantime, let's go back to these. Of course, the milkweed butterfly bouquet live plants. As Sandra was saying, it really does help for the pollinators, for the bees, the butterflies, etc. And then it also happens to resist deer. It's also drought tolerant, so that makes it nice. But these are brand new, and it is a gorgeous plant for $27.72. We're going to talk about them. You're going to get one in orange, one in pink, one one in yellow, one in white, and it's zones three to nine. So almost anywhere you can go ahead and let's leave these here if you don't mind, thanks. Okay, so in the meantime, let me bring in someone from the Walleen family. I think it happens to be Derek tonight. Hi, Derek, how are you? Hey, how you doing? Long time no see. I Happy know. To see you. It's wonderful to see you too. So let's jump in with these. This wonderful milkweed butterfly plant. Tell me about these and the colors. And if we've never actually had a butterfly plant, what do we need to know about it? Yeah, well, definitely. You know, this, what we're looking at is a beautiful mainstay in the garden. It's a perennial, it's tough as nails, but it does a huge service. To the ecosystem and specifically the monarch butterfly um you know as society has gone on just by certain things we do with farming practices or whatever uh you know humanity has sort of diminished the monarch butterfly population mm -hmm. a lot through pesticide use and so on and so forth that being said um the plant that the monarch butterfly p lays its eggs there's only one in the world and it's this milkweed right here wow. to grow its caterpillars on those plants have been sort of removed from the wild just from farming or whatever so what we're looking at is replanting milkweed so that the butterflies have somewhere to put their eggs yeah. then those caterpillars can grow and have their first meal so that they can go on and then, you know, reproduce and so on and so forth. And actually, you know, we've been growing this milkweed and offering it QVC for a number of years now. And we're seeing the population slowly start to take a turn. There is the caterpillar. Yeah. It's so interesting because Mother Nature has provided that only one kind of plant serves as food for the monarch butterfly in the caterpillar state. And that is this milkweed. Wow. So when there is no milkweed in the wild, there are no monarch butterflies. And the numbers of milkweed, oh, wow, look at Sandra. That's yeah, so awesome. Yeah, there's Sandra right there. Now, <gasps> this is not just a plant that's just going to save, you know, the monarch butterflies and in the world and all that. It looks beautiful. This yeah. is the first time we've ever offered all four colors of milkweed together. We have white, orange, pink, and yellow. They're <laughs> beautiful. These are uh, native to North America but they've been hybridized or bred to have bigger flowers, to be easier to take care of, and to have all these cool colors. Mm -hmm. Because traditionally, you would only see sort of a very washed out pink in the wild. So with all of these colors, it's beautiful in your house, mm -hmm. and it's also serving a very great purpose to help keep uh, the monarch butterfly from going extinct. So Derek, I've got a couple of questions. This is a perennial mm. and we can yes. we can put it outside. I mean, it says zones three to nine, which is pretty much everywhere. I mean, that goes yes. way up to Minnesota, Rhode Island, you know, Maine, et cetera. But then now what kind of sun does it need? Um, usually these kinds of plants love sun, is that right? That's right. These love full sun. When you get these home, you're going to get four plants this size. They've got a good, nice root system on them. You're going to put them in containers or in the ground in full sun areas. They can handle a little less than full sun, but the more sun, the better. Mm -hmm. The great thing about these are once they become established, they're very drought hardy. Um, by the way, pests like deer and mm -hmm. insects do not like to eat this because it's called milkweed because if you break the stem, this little milky substance comes out. Oh. And while caterpillars love that, of <laughs> not just the monarch butterflies, but all butterflies, any other bug, they don't like it, especially deer. Yeah, um, which and is so great. It's good because you know, if you have a place that you t tend to get a lot of beetles or a lot of deer, put this there and it's not going to be touched. Um, wow. Also, because these are native to North America traditionally, and what we're looking at is just a, a superior version of the native, uh, these are going to grow great anywhere you put them because it's used to our soil, our climate, so on and so forth, which makes this 
real mainstay. I mean, there's so many exotic things we can plant from all over the world. Right. May or may not take to, you know, our climate. Mm -hmm. But the milkweed definitely does because it already grows, you know, in the ditch by the farm. And so, right. so it, you know, and here's the colors. I want to look at these because yeah. these are outstanding colors. They mix excellent in the garden. If you didn't care about the butterfly population, you should still grow this. By the way, swallowtails, they love these too. All butterflies love this, but particularly the monarch butterfly because it's the only house or hotel for it hmm. to lay the eggs. Right. Now, here's the pink. Look at that. It's a rich, wow. deep pink, and it's got these little white speckles on it too, which gives this nice multicolor look. And mm -hmm. as these grow in the garden, if you allow them, they will naturalize, and they'll Good. kind of spread out. Excellent. Um, these do great in containers too. Right. And then here's the white, which is actually very rare. This mm -hmm. is not something that you see very often. If you just planted these all together, it would look exceptional. Um, mm -hmm. I love the white because when you do have your monarchs coming by, and they will, they will find these out from miles <laughs> away. Oh, they yeah. come to your house. Mm -hmm. And no one else will have monarch butterflies around their property because you're the only one that has their food source. Mm -hmm. But you're going to be able to see them on these flowers so well wow. and that yellow too i love the yellow it's such a happy cheery canary mm -hmm. yellow um and they do great you know by themselves or mixed in with other sorts of flowers in the garden let me also say since we introduced this literally like a couple weeks ago we've sold more than ten thousand you know sets because you get wow. four of these with each one and even tonight a lot of people ordering here's what i would suggest is call us at our qvc2 number which is 1-800-500-7590 that's a great way to place your order a lot of people ordering more than one set and the other thing too that i always just want to let you know and you'll see it right here is this is roberta's bounty all-purpose plant food if if you'd like to get that, first of all, we've sold 115,000 of these, but it's less than $20, and that is going to last you probably just about the end. I mean, it depends on how many flowers you have, but it can last pretty much the whole season. One quick thing I wanted to ask you before we move off of the milkweed and go to the roses. how When do they start to bloom, and how long do they bloom? Yeah, that's a great question. I'm glad that you brought that up. So these are going to start blooming right at the beginning of summer. You're going to get around three and a half months of flowers, a little bit more depending on where you live. Um, and the great thing about these is you don't really have to do anything. You don't have to go out and cut them down. You know, they're just going to die back. And then next spring, they're going to come right back up. Um, you know, they do like a, a decent amount of water at the beginning. And once mm -hmm. they get situated, they're pretty, they're pretty strong on their own, you know? That's so great. it's a nice, easy one to have. Uh, growing for you. Excellent. Derek, that's very